What up, Fish Tank people? FishTankTV.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Friday. A fired up Friday, folks. I'm fired up. I was supposed to go out to Keelan today. I was actually rocking a green bow tie today, but uh, I got too cold. I didn't really feel like going out. Wife couldn't get a sitter for the kids, so uh, I'm here shooting a video for you all. Oh, and shout out to my people at the Pain Treatment Center. I know you guys are going to buy the whole system, the pure voiceover IP platform. They actually watched this channel and were checking it out and realized that I'm a complete nut job outside of work. You know you guys want the whole system. It's going to be awesome. Trust me. Here's what's going on though, fish tank folks. I want to show you about my pond here. Uh, having a lot of fun. Just uh, watching this thing turn back alive because spring is here and I just feel alive. The pond's coming alive and I'm excited about it. Uh, I did a big old water change on it the other day and it's looking pretty good. I actually haven't turned on the waterfall yet. I probably uh, should do that pretty soon to get the oxygen going in here. But I just, you know, like with your ponds and with your tanks, you got to do the big water changes. I've got some uh, parrot's feather that's coming up. This stuff comes up so thick. Um, it's just starting now. I'm really liking the way that comes up. And then these lilies are just going to be completely awesome. Uh, there was one goldfish left in here. And I don't know if he survived the winter. And I don't think it was because he didn't survive the cold. I think he got eaten. But, you know, that happens. So, oh, this is tight. So we're going to actually have a little bloom action going on here before long. So that's going to be cool. And, uh, yeah, I wanted to show this. I also want to show the dwarf sedge that uh, it just lives out here, like right here. How sweet is that? Just dwarf sag, just chilling. I've showed this before, but um, a lot of fun. You can see how it runs along the back there. I don't know if you guys can see how that, I'll point it out with this piece of driftwood here. Yeah, it goes along the back right here, and in through here, and underneath there. So, I'm really liking that. Another lily that's gonna come up here. Love that. So that's what I'm doing. And I had somebody ask me today as we walk back to the greenhouse, I had somebody ask me on the, uh, the last Loach video about how I got into fish tanks. I'll just tell that story real quick. Uh, and then I'm gonna get back to family time. There's the greenhouse, I'm absolutely loving it. By the way, this tree above it's looking really sweet too. Beautiful time of year to be in Kentucky. But yeah, no, I got into tanks when I was uh, probably like 13 or 14. I don't know, I remember being a kid at about the age of five or six with uh, my dad had a 10 gallon tank that uh, I remember opening the door for him as he like busted through holding the entire 10 gallon tank and dumping all the water out doing water changes that, that I might have been under the age of 10 there I'm not sure I was young but um, yeah and I got into him I remember one day I was over at my boy David Brindle's house and uh, he had a little 10 gallon tank with a little box filter in it. And I remember just staring at it. He had a couple of like miscellaneous tetras, your standard like Noah's Ark tank with like two of this species, two of that, two of the other. And I was just like, I gotta have that. And I was hooked. I got a, uh, a 10 gallon tank. Uh, the one that we had, I don't, I don't think it was set up at the time, but um, it wasn't set up. So I set it up and I went out and I got uh, like five goldfish. And of course I put like five goldfish instantly into a 10 gallon tank and like three of them died over the weekend because I did no cycling at all. Uh, just kind of put them in there. Had uh, pink gravel, which was always killer. Uh, I actually still have some of this tank too, by the way. Had my old man come down. So this is remnants of Dustin's, uh, one of my first tanks. You got your plastic plants, you got your pink plants, you got your blue gravel, just, uh, you know, 10 types of terrible. But, um, yeah, started out in the 10 gallon tank and uh, got the goldfish. I remember uh, like it was yesterday actually when I went out and I bought a 29 gallon tank. I was uh, I was hustling at like 13, or 13, 14, 15, I had a job. So I actually had money and I was living at home obviously. And so I had cash. I remember loading the 29 gallon tank. I went to Myers and I pulled it off the shelf and put it in the shopping cart with my mom. I'll never forget that day. It was like the biggest tank ever for me. So I was really, really excited about that. Uh, I took that sucker home, did black gravel this time, classed it up, used what's called an under gravel filter. If you're still using an under gravel filter, please leave me a comment. I'd love to know how they're working out for you. Uh, I'm beyond that technology these days. But um, yeah, so I'm showing the goldfish. I had goldfish. I had uh, these big massive goldfish and I had them and I actually traded them to my buddy Jolly. The trade is still... Uh, under some controversy because I traded in my goldfish for a marine land uh, over the back overflow filter or whatever. And um, 
yeah, he had those goldfish in his pond for quite a while. And they ended up getting really, really big and uh, sweet. But uh, yeah, I'm trying to think. So I had a 10 gallon and a 29 gallon before I was 16. I lived at Pet Supplies Plus on uh, Tiffin Avenue in Finley, Ohio. I was there all the time na and nagging them, bothering them, bringing in fish, trading fish, just like always there, like every day after school, riding my bike with bags of fish to and from home. So it was a lot of fun. Um, yeah, and I did that up till 16, and on my 16th birthday, I got a job there. And that's a longer story, so I'm gonna hold off on that story, but that's 14 to 16, goldfish bowl way, way back, 10 gallon tank, my dad uh, did 100% water changes on. I remember him using Decalor, though, I remember that was being a big deal. And uh, yeah, I ended up getting a job at uh, Pet Supplies Plus at 16. I want to show this tank, though, because it's uh, Steve's old tank, actually. Obviously, does not look as good as his, but I want to show what's up with uh, the new growth I got here. I had some Rotella that was just been uh, floating. Stuck it into uh, the sand substrate, sand with uh, sand over dirt, I should say. And uh, obviously, new growth, new growth. This is what you want to look for, folks, because parts of your plants might not look good, but if you have the new growth, you're straight. See that new growth, new growth there the green tops, new growth. I've added no nutrients, I've done nothing. I just filled this tank up, uh, decored it, and then put the plants in. So, um, yeah, that's doing well. Also, I got this plant, and it doesn't look too hot, but uh, I've never kept uh, Mexican oak leaf before, so I got it in, and I'm just kind of playing with it now. It really responded well. It came in looking really bad, and uh, I've just uh, planted it in here. And what I'm seeing that's encouraging to me is the new growth along the stem here, so that's good. Um, you know, you can certainly see like how it, you know, peeled back, got some little algae on there or whatever, but I'm gonna try this plant out. Um, you know, excited to see just kind of how it responds and, and, you know, always fun to just try out a new plant. So that's what I'm doing. Um, yeah. Welcome new subscribers. Uh, I want to apologize to a few people that were going to be on the conference call last night. I literally scheduled that thing and then found out my daughter had a uh, singing recital at the exact same time that I scheduled it. So I had to back off that. So we'll be rescheduling that. I'll shoot you all an email on that. Also, on Aquatic Jungles, there's a link to AquaticJungleSupplies.com where I am selling some of a uh, eh, little New Life Spectrum food. A couple of T5 fixtures are available on there. CO2 systems, basically stuff to run with your planet tank as well as some really cool gravel that's like the perfect size so i'm excited to be offering that it's a separate site from aquatic jungles aquatic jungle uh you're going to want to check that out that's one s in the middle there not two although i'll probably buy the other url but uh yeah that's what's going on folks and yeah have fun everybody make it a good weekend species sunday coming at you i might even hit you with the video tomorrow over at brian's house we'll see later